In question 4 we have a diagram of a guitar string and told the string cannot move at either of the two bridges when vibrating. When vibrating at its fundamental mode the frequency of the sound is 108 Hz. In A part 1 we need to sketch the stationary wave produced when in its fundamental mode. Well the fundamental mode has a shape something like this with one loop in part 2 we need to calculate the wavelength of this fundamental mode. Well this distance is 0.64 meters and the wavelength is twice this which is 1.28 meters. In part 3 we need to calculate the speed of the progressive wave along this string. Well for this we can use wave speed is equal to frequency times wavelength the frequency given in the question is 108 Hz, the wavelength 1.28 meters, giving a speed of 138 meters per second. In B, we have an overtone producing a node 0.16 meters from bridge A on the left. In part 1, we need to sketch the wave produced, labeling all the nodes present. Well, the wave will be something like this, so this distance would be 0.16 meters and these would fit into the space of 0.64 meters. It's worth measuring to get these distances correct just to make sure you get the mark. We can then label the nodes like this. In part 2 we need to calculate the frequency of this overtone. Well, we can say that frequency is wave speed over wavelength and the wave speed we found previously 138 meters per second. The wavelength here is this distance which is 0.32 meters. This gives a frequency of 431 Hz. Alternatively, this is the fourth harmonic and so it has four times the frequency of the fundamental. This is four times 108 Hz, giving 432 Hz. Either of these answers would be acceptable. In C, we're told the guitarist needs to raise the fundamental frequency and we need to state one way he can do this. Well, the guitarist could increase the tension of the string to raise the fundamental frequency.